Are you Banksy? Are you Banksy? Where are you taking it to? Are you are you guys gonna hit different McDonald's today? Yes? Okay. That's something. Every day for the for next week. This crowd following them. Can you tell us what McDonald's you're going to next? I can't. Are you Banksy? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask. Is Banksy here? Raise your hand if you're Banksy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? All right. Good. How you doing? I came to see some art. What's going on at Ronald McDonald? Like live art. Hello. Sorry. Thanks to you also. Hello, everyone. So this, he's not taking the, he's not jacking Ronald McDonald from the McDonald's, is he? No, this is theirs. Custom. He's got custom feet. Excuse me. Are you taking him with you already? You are. Excuse me. Okay. Well, thank you for coming to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could stay. That's the point there. Just leave his feet hanging out. Put a red. You don't need a red flag. His feet are red. <laughs> we be we believe in art here as well. Repping the boogie down. Ronald McDonald, I hope he's in good hands. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you tell us where you're off to next? I can't say. McDonald's. Woodboro. Same one. Yeah. So, it's, so it's gonna be a Bronx tour. Quick, someone throw an iPhone in the truck. <laughs> someone throw a GPS locator on this. I'm taking to the legendary Charlotte Street. There you go. Huh? Why is this street legendary? You don't know about Charlotte Street? Well, well I don't. You don't? No. Uh, you should go research Charlotte Street in the in in 1979. Ronald Reagan, candidate Ronald Reagan visited here. Before that, President Jimmy Carter. This was the the this was the, uh, the evidence of urban decay. This was like a war torn country. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I remember the 70s. All, all so all everything was burnt all down. All of this was rubble. If you ever, if you. Yeah. If you ever saw the movie Fort Apache, The Bronx? Yeah, I did. The final scene where Paul Newman was chasing the guy who was a purse snatcher with the pilot's hat. Yeah. Uh, where they had the, the prostitute wrapped in a, in, a, in a rug. Yeah, yeah. It was not too far from here. My father... This was this neighborhood. This is this neighborhood. No buildings, everything was burned down. No, yeah. My father used to have... They started the CSS program on 172nd and, and West. So I used to play in the rubble here. This is where I used to play. And look at it now. So we go from that and go, go online. Like, what year was this? What's that? This was in the 70s and the 80s. Yeah. I was and out so, here in the 80s. And then, and then they were when, burning down all the buildings, man. And then, and Everything. But they, but at that point, they were already burned out. This was just rubble. We used to play on mattresses here all over here. And then there was an infusion of federal money through Ed Koch and then Fernando Ferrer, who was the board president. That's how you got these homes here. Once upon a time, these homes were, were selling for $50,000. Oh. In the late 80s, early 90s. And now how much? And now they're, well, they're about 500000 dollars maybe more. Right. 
the Bronx, baby. It's a lot of good development up here in the Bronx. And, and we got a, we got a, we got to host a Banksy uh, uh, piece of art today. Not bad. What was right? that? I'm the Borough President Diaz. I'm Ruben Diaz. He's the man. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Diaz. Hey.